morning, you guys. How's everyone doing? Good? All right. You guys, uh, you guys excited to learn about the crazy world of, of AI and this new uh, technology that is shaping the future here? Cool. All right. Who here wants to implement AI into their business? Who here wants to streamline processes, create efficiencies, save time? and uh, just make their life a little bit, a little bit easier. All right, cool. Well, I'm going to show you guys ways that you can do that today. Uh, we'll be going over different softwares, different technologies. Who's heard of ChatGPT? All right, cool. Most of you guys? All right. If you haven't heard of ChatGPT, um, you're about to hear all about it. And the truth is, it's changing the way that we do business. Okay, over the last three years, we've all seen a huge transition in the way that we run and operate our businesses. Right? We've seen a, a big transition into the digital space. Technology has become very, very relevant. It's become really what's what's pushed us, and uh, really, it's the way that we market our businesses. It's the way we conduct businesses. Some of us are just doing appointments through Zoom and, and Google Meets and. We're, we're making more purchases online. Who in here uses Amazon? I know all of you guys use Amazon. Come on. All right. So point being is we're not slowing down in this digital world, right? We're just speeding up. So before I jump into this, I'm going to share a little bit about me. My name is Kyle Lonstad. Uh, I'm the CEO of Marketing Empire Group. We're a full-service digital marketing agency. So we help businesses and individuals with all of their marketing needs. So websites, SEO, social media, email marketing, advertising. I've been in this space for many years. And during that time, I was able to just understand different industries. I was able to learn a lot about psychology. Who here understands that sales is psychology? It's all psychology, right? And once you're able to understand people, their personalities, the, the way that they run and operate their businesses, what makes them click, how to effectively communicate to certain people and different demographics, where they're from, who they are, what they like, what they do, right? So when you really learn and understand that, you're able to make more powerful communications within your process, your sales process, right? So uh, my family and I have a beautiful wife. Uh, we're due any day, so if I get a call, I gotta, I gotta dart out of here, sorry. <laughs> uh, number two's coming. So. Yeah, May 13th. We should be okay. We got a little, a little bit of time. Thank you. Uh, I have a three and a half year old as well, so she gets a, a little sister, two girls. Um, we recently just moved out to Temecula Wine Country. We've been in Temecula for about four years now. Uh, we purchased 40 acres. We're developing a family ranch. So I love the AI. I love the technology. I love everything that's going on, but. I love like real life more. I love relationships. I love people. I love being on the land. I love gardening and farming. We got chickens. We got uh, goats, mini horse. We're going to get a lot more animals. So that's my life. That's a little bit about me and, and who I am. So you guys know, know who you're working with today. All right. So AI technology is definitely shaping this industry and it's shaping it pretty rapidly. And what I'll say to you guys is if you don't jump on it now, it's going to be too late in 6 to 12 months. And what I mean by that is there's a trend that's happening in, the, in this space and, and really within your industry that's allowing individuals to be a lot more efficient and save a ton of time and push out more content, uh, generate more blogs, utilize uh, lead generation sources, farm like there's so many different pieces of technology that AI has been integrated with and it's only growing faster. In the last 30 days, there's been over 2,000 new AI software developments. Over 2,000 in the last 30 days. So you can just see how quick this is moving. And it's really not just affecting your guys' industry, it's affecting everybody's industry. So. As we jump in here, this is just kind of a breakdown of what we're going to be going through. So I'm going to talk with you guys, of course, a lot about ChatGPT. I'll go over different softwares. We'll talk about how to utilize the software. Um, I wanted to give you some examples, but I'll let you guys play with it. 
because my computer unfortunately wasn't able to connect, so all I have is this presentation. But I do have some real life examples that are pre-recorded on the screen, uh, so I'll, I'll be able to show you guys those. Any questions before we get started? No? All right, cool. So these are all the different areas that you can implement AI into your business, all right? Um, ultimately, it's right now, it's still in its infant stages, okay? Yeah, I, yep. Uh, he has it, so he can send it over. So ultimately, you guys are, are going to be able to implement this into multiple avenues of your business. Today, it's still new. It's still fresh. It's in its infant stages. ChatGPT just came out in December, okay? So a little back history on ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an open AI software, so it's artificial intelligence, and it's it was created with Elon Musk and a couple other, couple other developers, they had started it. It was initially a nonprofit company, okay? And the team decided that they wanted to take it for profit. Elon Musk was off doing his Tesla, SpaceX, and all this other stuff. By the time he came back to it, it was a whole new company. They wanted to go for profit. They took it to market, they went for profit. They were the largest downloaded software ever. Ever. In five days, they had a million downloads. That's the quickest. That's bigger than Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. That's bigger than any other platform that we've ever seen. And they didn't even really have to market it. It just took the world by storm by word of mouth. They did very minimal marketing there. But it's so powerful that when somebody heard about it, they immediately shared it with like five or ten people. You guys know what I'm talking about? You've seen stuff like that, right? here so it's very very interesting um, ultimately it's it's a huge opportunity for you and your businesses and if you use it you can destroy your competitors and not like physically destroy them but I'm sorry, like you could you could just destroy and dominate the market and business because it's gonna allow you to essentially not fully clone yourself but nearly clone a virtual assistant of yourself, right? So that's how we want to view this, okay? And there's a lot of different, like, there's a lot of legal here. So don't take everything that I say as legal advice. You guys are realtors. You have different organizations and, and uh, companies that you guys have regulations through, right? So make sure you do your due diligence. You, you know what you're you know what you're getting yourself into. You don't want to copy and paste everything. You want to make sure anything plagiarized. You want to push it through uh, plagiarism checkers. There's one, one's called Grammarly. If you guys want to write that down, Grammarly, you can put it through that. Make sure it's not plagiarized. And you want to vet it. You want to make it your own. This is just a tool to just make your life easier, okay? This is not a replacement, all right? You guys understand that? Yep. So it's free. <coughs> ChatGPT is free. Uh, they do have ChatGPT4 that they just recently rolled out. It's $20 a month. So it's month to month subscription based. Um, it pulls from the same database. So they have ChatGPT 3.5 free. Um, if you guys want, you can go to openai.com uh, and you can get through there. So yeah, it's not very expensive. Free is kind of. Free is kind of cool, and it's not really free, free because somebody's paying for it, but you guys don't have to pay for it if, uh, if you don't want. So the benefits of using AI. I'm just going to go straight to the middle one. Want to come up with new content ideas quickly? AI can help you out with that. Who here creates video currently within their business? There's a couple. Who posts on social media? Who posts consistently on social media? All right, starting to? starting to? Okay, cool. Um, so for those of you that don't post consistently, why don't you post consistently right now? You don't know what to post. All right, that's changing today. You, you can get 100 ideas of, of what to post. You'll write full scripts, you'll see. So we, we all kind of get that, that brain fog sometimes, right? We get that, that mental block, and we don't know what to post right or we feel like ah oh, it's not perfect it's got to be 
to be perfect, right? The truth is, on average, the average person in America, you guys, spends two and a half to three hours per day on social media. Two and a half to three hours per day on social media. Two and a half to three hours per day on social media. You guys understand like the value of that? You, you get their undivided attention. Who here has ever been at home, their wife or husband's trying to talk to them, they're like just scrolling, whatever, and then you look up and you're like, what'd you say, babe? Never. Never, <laughs> never happens to any of us, huh? Yeah. So you get their undivided attention. They're pretty locked into their screens. When we're on our phones, we're kind of locked in, right? Like two and a half to three hours per day. Imagine if you guys were getting in front of your buyers every single day the truth is you can and you will if you start implementing this stuff so i want to show you guys how to do that how to make it easier, and how to get uh, a bunch of ideas so that you don't get that brain fog and, and what to do all right so i'm going to ai tonality this one's fun adam sandler's my favorite actor love this guy he's, he's incredible so you can you can create a command you can create a prompt in chat sheet and you can say, in the voice of Adam Sandler, write me 10 new video ideas, right? And it'll make it like, super funny. It's hilarious. Uh, I should have should have uh, got an example and a sample for you guys. Um, but you can do it for any anyone. Brian Buffini, Grant Cardone, Gary Vee, like any, any of those guys. Um, what's his name? Tom Brady? of one that you guys are all familiar with. Any questions on that tonality? No? OK. So it's all about the prompts. It's all about what you prompt and what you tell the, the software. That's what the response is you're going to get. So you can get very specific. You can say, um, and we're going to go into it. Did you have some questions? So this is more of creating the tonality of the the text, not the not the actual tonality of of voice. Now you can do that. There's a software. It's called Descript, and there's another one called Synthesia, and you can do it through those softwares. <coughs> so that is, that is a possibility. You can do all sorts of different voices, and it's getting wild. Like, has anyone here heard of breaks? Deep fakes. Yeah. Did it, has anyone seen like any of the videos of like, uh, like Joe Biden or Obama or Trump? And it's like it's not really them, but it like fully looks and sounds like them. Yeah, those are deep fakes. They're crazy. It's pretty. It's kind of trippy. But that's the that's the that's all AI. That's all AI. Um, who here has? An iPhone? All right. Who here uses Face ID to unlock their phone? All right. That's AI. So you guys have actually been using AI a lot longer than you knew. All right. And there's a lot of different AI softwares that are out there that have been developed. This isn't new. This has been for a very long time. So development of AI uh, has been around pretty much almost since the beginning of the internet. This has been something that they've been working on. But fast forward to 2023, and now all the development that they've been working on for like the last 30 years is available and accessible to us. Right? And just recently became accessible to us in this realm, at, at this level, at this extent. So it's exciting, a little bit concerning. People are definitely sounding the alarm bells, Elon Musk. Uh, they call him the AI Godfathers. Jeffrey uh, Winton, he just uh, he just left Google because of the dangers of AI. So this isn't something to just be taken lightly. This is definitely changing our world, and and I truly mean that. And there's going to be a lot of people that are out of business from this. I say to scare you, but I tell you that because I want you to really fully understand the power of artificial intelligence. And 
As we uh, continue to progress, as we learn more about AI, as we start implementing it into our businesses, we want to use it with caution. We don't want to like jump all in, like on the deep end, and like you've kind of taken your personality out of your business, right? We still want to take it personal. Now, here's the good news. The good news is with all this technology being out, being released, and coming to the market, people are going to want more human interaction, more real. They want more raw, right? The relationships are going to be very important. You guys are in the relationship business, right? That's not going to change. That, like, you guys will not be replaced from that, right? So you don't have to be concerned about the, the software taking your jobs. What you have to be concerned about is your competitors being able to outperform you and them taking all the market share, right? But if you guys use the tools, you'll be able to take that market share. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So ChatGPT is only updated into 2021. So throughout the year of 2021, there's a bunch of AI softwares that are being developed, released. That'll up. Um, another one is called Bard. Bard is Google's artificial intelligence, and theirs is current. Theirs is up to date. They have the largest database to pull from, right? You guys know. Uh, Ninety-seven percent of people use Google. Ninety-seven percent. So you can imagine. There's the three percent. They use Bing. They use is it DuckDuckGo and and some of those other platforms. But ninety-seven percent of people use Google. So my expectation is that Bard is going to surpass ChatGPT. However, if you ask Bard who's better, Bard will tell you they're better for like research and data and analytics and stuff like that. But ChatGPT is better for creative. So that's where it's at today. That may change. Obviously, this is still in the infant stages. We'll see. We want to stay updated. And there's a lot of to do. But yeah, that was a great question. All right. So you can ask ChatGPT, um, give me some more mortgage calculations. Give me names. I went in the other day and I said, give me all of the schools located in Temecula and Marietta. And 30 seconds, it spit them all out. I was like, wow, that is absolutely incredible. I, if your client asks you a question like, hey, what are the top five restaurants? Or, hey, what are, what are the schools, right? Like, give me all that information. You guys don't have to do my research. How, how excited? Does that make you guys excited at all? Like, <laughs> shoot. Save you guys hours. You remember in school, you'd have to go do all these research papers and all that. Like in school, you don't even have to do that anymore. These kids aren't even going to school. No, I don't. I don't think it's good necessarily, but it's it is what it is. Uh, marketing automation. So, the number one way to to utilize this is uh, to create a lot of automations in your life. Like I said at the beginning. We want to streamline the way that you guys run and operate your businesses. We want to create efficiencies so that you guys can be more productive, more efficient in day to day, and also push out more content. Because the more content you push out, the more people see you, the more homes you're going to sell or help your clients buy. Right? Who here would love to be in front of hundreds of investors every single day? Yeah, me too possible all right marketing law i'm not saying like don't like i'm not a lawyer i'm not giving legal advice like, don't take that as like fact but i went in the other day and i asked for specific zoning requirements in riverside county and it gave me accurate information so if you have quick little questions things that you want to see like what are the boundary uh what are the boundaries for this how how many feet off the property line does a barn have to be? Just like little things like that, and you could get specific, it can do that research for you. So it's pretty good. So if your clients, you know, have specific questions, you can give them legal advice, but you can say, hey, um, it might be this, and then send them the actual link to like the zoning, uh, zoning code and all that, and, and it could be a resource. But give you guys a lot of time from how to read 
all the zoning requirements and stuff like that. All right, so I went in, I said, perform a competitive analysis between these two websites. And it did. And it gives us a full breakdown. Their website, their content, the functionality of each website. Based on the analysis, Team Forest has a more polished website with greater depth content, better user experience, advanced functionality to make your website ready more competitive. Consider implementing the following improvements. Get a full breakdown. That happened in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Who here wants to be able to run competitor analysis in 30 seconds? Who here wants to be able to analyze their competitors' websites, their social media accounts, what they're doing? Not just on a local level, you can do this on a national level. So whoever you guys look up to, whoever's big in the real estate world, you can check them out, you can do some analysis, you can see what they're doing, you can get all the insight, all the information that you need. It just take hours or days to be able to do this type of stuff. You can do it in seconds now. Pretty incredible. Anyone have any questions here? No? All right, cool. Any competitive analysis on these social media accounts? Boom. This is real time, by the way. I just did the top two in Temecula. Um, that's where I'm from, you guys. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, do some for Redlands. All right, so this is all real time. This is literally how quick it writes and pulls that information. So all I did is I went on Instagram, and you can use this for any platform, Facebook, LinkedIn, TikTok, if you like it. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of TikTok, but you can go on any platform, type in the URL, copy, paste it, go to ChatGPT to, to give you an analysis. Right now, this is only up to 2021, as we discussed, right? Uh, you could also do it in BARD. It'll, you can do the same thing in BARD. Um, but do you guys see the power in that? Mm -hmm. That is some powerful stuff right there, especially for a marketing agency. This takes my team hours to do this type of analysis. Like, we do this all the time. This is my world. My team, we do competitive analysis. We do keyword research. We do a ton of just in-depth analysis and research. And... On average, it would take us about a week to do all the research and everything that we needed to do for to bring a client between everything. Now we can do it in a day. That's how much time saving. So we're that's just my business. That's just my industry. You guys have the same capabilities. There's so many different ways to implement this stuff in your business. It's absolutely incredible. But you got to use it. You got to use it the right way, and you got to be uh, you got to be smart how you're using it too. Anyone have any questions on this? No. Who here wants to go analyze their, uh, their competitors' social media accounts? <laughs> uh, uh, I hope you do. I hope you do it. It's very useful. Has anyone ever analyzed their competitors' social accounts? No? You guys aren't doing market research, competitor analysis, nothing like that? All right. I encourage you to do so. One thing is if, if you want to be, who here wants to be a leader in the space? I hope you all raise your hands, please. <laughs> You're all here. You guys are all invested in be here to learn this stuff, right? So I'm confident that you guys are all here to invest in yourselves. You guys are at the bottom of the barrel. You guys are you guys are cream of the crop, right? Cream of the crop rise to the top. You guys are top here in this area, probably some of the top agents in California. You guys are the best at what you do. If you want to become better, you have to invest in yourself right and in order to do that you have to do continuous investment in you so what I mean by that is this is your business this is your brand. this is your vision this is your mission you guys got in this space right? 
you guys have the goals, the desires, the dreams to be able, whatever your goals are, right? If you want to just uh, provide for your family and generate an income, great. If you want to help people get their dream homes, awesome. If you want to help investors sell and continue to grow their businesses, amazing. Whatever your guys' goals are, Look, you guys got into this space. You guys are the realtors, right? This is your business. Yes, you might be part of the Keller Williams brand. That's okay. Truthfully, doesn't matter. No offense. This is all personal branding. People buy from you. They buy from you. They buy because they like you. They don't care what brokerage you're with. They don't. They don't. They truthfully don't. I can 100% sit up here and tell you, I have never looked at any of my realtors and be like, hey, man, uh, what broker are you with? <laughs> never. Not one time. I've done a lot of real estate investments. Not one time. Literally. Never one time. But what I can tell you is I ask them, what are your goals? How are you going to help me sell this home? What makes you better than your competitor? Right? And really learning about them because that's all that matters. Right? How are you going to market it? Where are we going to place it on the market? What's our pricing points going to be? All right, all of the data that I need to justify whether or not I should work with them. Okay, so you guys really have to understand that if you want to be the best in this space, you got to continue to invest in the best, which is you. you gotta invest in yourself. All right, AI chatbots. So um, we all interact with chatbots already. You have like eight. Verizon or T-Mobile, like you go on their website, they have no customer service now, they just suck. It's all chatbots and I mean, they're getting better. The chatbots are getting better. It's going to be, yeah, better over time. But that's where we're at. A lot of websites already have these. They're already interacting with them. You guys could implement them into your sites. Does everyone in here use the same CRM or everyone uses different CRMs? It's the same? Uh, what do you guys use? Okay, what do you guys use? Throw out some names. Command. Command. Okay, cool. So, do they have chatbots integrated yet? If not, they, they will. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty confident they will. Um, so, chatbots allow you to, it's all for like ask questions, right? Gathering data, capture form fills, getting their information, things like that. That's what chatbots are really useful for. So um, I'm not going to go too into chatbots because it's not really like that important. But I'm pretty sure your guys' CRMs and uh, is your guys's is command have the CRM built in with the website builder? Is that it's all in integrate? Okay, cool. yeah. So it'll you guys will you guys will get there. That'll that'll be there sooner than later. So top AI software, uh, ChatGPT, that's like the number one right now that everyone's talking about, ranting and raving about. It's great. It's phenomenal. Bard is number two. Um, I'm a little biased. Empire Real, that's a CRM that we use. It has the IDX integration. Pretty much, it's similar to, to Command and what you guys have. And then Empire Leads. Empire Leads is actually an AI software that allows you to connect with people through LinkedIn. It'll create, it's all AI. So it'll you can go in through Sales Navigator. If you guys who here has LinkedIn, actually, I should have started with that. Okay, I hope you all have LinkedIn because that's the best platform out there. Literally the best platform out there. Why, Kyle? Why is it the best platform? Please tell me why. Okay. <laughs> it's the best platform because number one, there's a lot less producers on the platform than the consumer. If you guys can't tell, I'm in here to help you guys be more producers and less consumers. Okay, I already shared the statistic. On average, people spend two and a half to three hours on their phone on social media per day. All right? If that's you in the room, which most of you do, I don't know, go to your screen time, you can figure it out. It's all the data and analytics that you need to see where your time is being invested on your phone is on there, so you should check it out pretty consistently. Do a little audit on yourself. So if that's true, we're spending two and a half to three hours per day on our, on our social media accounts, then we should be producing, if it's us, us in the room, right? We're producers, right? We're not consumers. 
yes, you're going to consume a little bit so you can get ideas, you can do a little bit of market research, you can see what your competitors are doing, you can see what's working, what's not working, you can get information and insights on market trends, what's happening, updates, interest rate, all that, all that stuff, right? It's, it's good. You got to consume a little bit. But the majority of the time, you should be producing. I want you guys to be producers. So in order to be a producer, you have to push out what? Content. Okay. So through LinkedIn, I tell you guys it's the best platform because there's a lot less producers than there are consumers. The producer to consumer rate is less than any other platform, which means there's a ton of people on the platform just consuming content, not really producing content. It's the only platform that you can get third degree connection posts out. So what that means is <coughs> if I'm friends with Dave and you have a friend and another friend, when I post his, his friend's friend, my stuff. You don't get that on any other platform. Mm -hmm. TikTok has a good algorithm too that's starting to get overly consumed. Still not a fan of it, but <laughs> LinkedIn, third degree. Friends, friends, right? It goes that deep. So you can make and it, and a complete stranger is going to see it, almost guaranteed, every single time. You guys see, like, random people you're not even connected with all the time, right? So you don't get that anywhere else. On top of it, LinkedIn has something called Sales Navigator. It's a subscription. You do have to buy it. It's like $79 a month, probably one of the greatest investments you're going to ever have. And what you could do is you could actually go in and you could create targeted lists to individuals, right? To businesses, to investors, mortgage reps, title reps, financial advisor, and really any anything that you want. You can go in and you could create a targeted list based on specific demographics. So all the put into <laughs> LinkedIn, like where you live, your uh, your interests, all the stuff, where you went to school, all of that, you can target them to sales navigate. And then we have a software, it's called Empire Leads. This allows you to go in, connect with that list that you just created, the sales navigator, right? So it's fully customized. You can say, I want to work with all the investors in Redlands. You get that list through sales navigator, you plug in the software, it'll go in, it'll start connecting with them and then sending them automated messages. You don't want to spam them. That's not how you, that's not the way you write copy. You create relationships. You go grab a coffee. Hey, I'm local. I'm here in the area. I wanted to see if you're open to grab a trip. Want to learn a little bit more about you and your business and your investments, right? And this one's like, hey, I'm huge on networking. I wanted to see if you had a quick 10 minutes to jump on a call, see if there's a way for us to bring value to each other. Right? We're not spamming. Like, you guys get spam messages and it's just like huge thing of like I'm trying to pitch you on all this stuff. That's not how you market. That that's not how you market. The way you market is by building relationships. It's called social media. Emphasis on social. All right. Social media. So just like we build relationships here in person, it's the same thing. We're just building the relationships online. Right? We just do it in a different manner, in a different format. Right, but it's still just building the relationships. Right, so through that software, it allows you to go in, create the created lists. You can start automatically reaching out, and then here's the best part: it'll actually pull their data. It'll pull all their data from LinkedIn, their name, their business name, their phone numbers, their emails, and then you can start targeting them through SMS. You can start email marketing them. Who here would want a list of investors? <coughs> That's, I mean, come on, guys. That's, that's the guy. That's the capability. That's what we have at our fingertips right now. So I'm not listing all of the AI software because my team is actually working. We're, it might be up. I don't know. If not, it'll be up by the end of this week. Uh, the AI Professional. So we created a whole uh, separate company. It's called the AI Professional. It's going to be a complete resource of all the different AI technologies. We're going to have it broken down the capability so 
film photo editing, copywriting, advertising, all the different categories. And then we're also going to break it down based on industry, the top four for each specific industry. So we'll have real estate in there. We'll have the top four AI softwares that you guys should be using and, and investing in. So it's AIprofessional.com if you guys want to write that down. All right. So. Okay, so demand probably has a lot of those features, right? Email automation, you know, the IDX integration. Who here is using it? Sorry. Okay. Um, there's a reason you guys have it. It's very, 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 very valuable. And it's extremely useful when you use it. All right. The capabilities that it has built into it are phenomenal. You can create email automations, right? Are you guys doing that? No? Yeah? One? Only one person in the room? Oh, come on. I know a couple more of you got to be doing it. All right. So I'm going to stress this a little bit to you guys. How long have you guys had access to this? You started here? OK. Why are you not using it? <laughs> no excuse? No excuse? I use a little bit, but not as much as I should. OK. What else? Who else? I'm sitting on the slide, so I don't have access to the most basic small things. Okay. Really things I can build. So All right. I use it, but it's like. You're getting there. That's it. You're getting there. I'm building. Awesome. I'm building. Okay, all right, I love it. Good. <laughs> love that. Having classes where we're working on all of our automations yeah. and building smart plans and then having them show up. Okay. Sometimes there's cool. not enough time in the day to do the messages that are bigger, but a lot of times they're doing good technology with the things that they're doing. Right. I totally understand. Yeah, I totally understand. All right. Do you guys understand the value of it? Yeah. You do? Yeah. Okay. That's good. So we understand the value, but we're not using it. That's where we're at. We're learning. learning how to implement. We're learning. I touched it. We're learning how to implement. Okay. How long have you been learning for? I think if we grab the topic of we're learning, we're building up our database. Mm -hmm. Right. So we're, we're okay. learning for each of those things. And so we're working through it as a team. Mm -hmm. So we're one step by step by step as a team. We're yeah. in the kitchen <laughs> together. All right. We're all learning it, but we're doing the other things as a team to keep up. <coughs> so it's taking a little time versus it's like sitting down and hammering it out. Because yeah. we're all working together on it and we're right. learning together. Okay. So we did get cool. the step by step. That's great. All right. Um, if I were you guys, I would go home this weekend. And I would do it. I would learn it. I would figure it out. I would spend as much time as I possibly can. If it means staying up later, getting a couple hours less of sleep, doing whatever it takes, right? Because the truth is competitors are using it. And they're outperforming you. And they're closing all the deals around here. You don't want that, right? I don't want that for anyone in here. I want you guys to get the I want you guys to be selling the houses. I want you guys to be getting the buyers, OK? So. In order to do that, you have to implement the tools and the resources that are available to you. If they're there and you're not implementing them, it's I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. You're being lazy. All right. You're being lazy. And we all know there's a lot of lazy realtors out there because we all got really fat right over the last 
last three years when deals were just rolling in and things were easy, the economy was rolling, that was, that was the, the best time, right? But the truth is, things are changing, right? The economy is shifting, interest rates are shifting, buyers aren't as much as they were coming to us, just landing in our inbox, just getting those phone calls. Things are changing. So what that means is now is the most important time for you guys to start shifting down, throttling up, and going all in on this stuff. You have the tools. You have the resources. Everything is there at your fingertips. You just have to start implementing it, right? So I encourage you guys to spend the time to invest learning about it, implementing it, even just start where you are, right? But just start and just do it consistently, right? 30 minutes. What if you? a day for five days that's a lot of time right there six hours sure you learn it that quick right it's not that it's not that crazy technology crms your website like it's really not like that intricate yeah if you don't know anything about technology it might take you a little bit longer but the truth is it's not going to take you 30 days to figure this stuff out if you go sit in your office and you spend a little bit of time uh, <laughs> let's just do this let's just say you the average of the two and a half hours that you're on your your screen time you just take that time and you put it into learning the software and, and learning about the tools and implementing the tools that you have access to I guarantee you guys will close more deals right you'll sell more homes all right <coughs> anyone have any questions on that no all right who here is going to start investing time in learning this Implementing it, implementing it, implementing it. All right, let's implement it. If you guys need help, I'm sure you got plenty of resources around here to help you. Who's who's been here the longest? Kevin. Kevin. No, no. <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> okay. Two years. That's the. Six? Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm sure he'd love to help you guys. If you had any questions, do, do you utilize the? I, I do, and I'm surprised he right. knows that it's all AI driven. Yeah. out to Kevin if you guys need anything I'm sure he would be more than happy to say hey look check it out do this this and this like make your guys life easier help you close more business help you guys put more food on your family's table help you achieve your goals your dreams help you help more people like it's a big ripple effect you guys see that right like what you're not doing today affects your tomorrow you guys understand that right like what you do today affects your tomorrow what you're not doing today affects your tomorrow right effort that you put in today you're gonna see the results in two months four six ten twelve months two years three years you're building a database right everyone here they're building a client list they're trying to build out a database of as many people as possible they're trying to build as many relationships as many connections the more connections you have the more database you have the more you have to pull from the more people you can market to the more people you can reach out to on social media the more people you of the more deals you're going to the more referrals you're going to get the more revenue you're going to make the more you're going to be able to provide for your family the more you're going to be able to achieve your goals you guys understand that it's all big ripple effect so the efforts that you put in today affect your tomorrow right you really got to understand that don't take it lightly ai copy and content creation so these are a couple different prompts that you can give chat gpt or, or bard your professional digital marketer generate 10 video ideas and 10 graphic ideas for real estate. And real quick, all right? So one of the, the, the uh, not coming up with ideas, that's, that's gone after today. Go to openai.com, download ChatGPT. You don't have to download, it's, not, it's all web-based. Get set, sign up for it, log in, give me 10 ideas for videos. It'll spit it out. I think I might have a video to show you guys. Yeah, here we go. Your professional video script writer, write me three video scripts for real estate agents, Megla, 
one funny, one professional, one educational. Use statistics in all of them. All right, I'm going to try to read this. The real estate agent sitting in front of a computer with a map on Temecula's screen. Real estate agent. Good afternoon, Temecula. If you're looking to buy or sell a property in this area, you've come to the right place. As a licensed and experienced real estate agent in Temecula, increased by 10% in the last year. Oh, it's going too fast for me. I'll just read this. <laughs> and with the interest rate at historic going up on highs, this is 2021, remember. At historic low, that's why we need humans. All right, we're always going to need humans. Now the right time to invest in your dream home. Whether you're a first-time buyer or a seasoned investor, I can guide you through the process and help you make the best decision for your future. So give me a call or visit my website to learn more. Wow. That's powerful. Who wants to use this? Right. Let's do it. Let's make it happen. To take it a step further, you guys, um, what you can do with one of these trips as well, say your, your next sponsor, is take the professional trips, shorten them, make it more casual. And then they build it for you, shorten it in length, and you can make it more of a casual trip as well. Or you can say, you know, make it more professional. You know, make it sound like you're at yep. a wedding. Kind yep. Of Correct. So you could actually communicate with the AI software, which means like he was saying, you can tell it, hey, do it in the voice of this person, do it in the voice of this person, add these specific statistics, add this name, throw an ape in the storyline and make him add the Empire State Building, an ape walking up the Empire State Building into the storyline. Like anything that you guys can think of, you can throw it in there as a command and as a prompt and it can do it. It can do it. All right. Yeah. I told my husband when I was at Sprint. Yeah. Um, so we always started off with that top line, telling it what it is, and to our agent, like book book writer. Yeah. So they don't just say write in case of real estate score. You can. But I mean, that does that give it more of a direction? Exactly. <coughs> so the more structure that you get, the better it's going to be able to produce. So you can get very specific. You can say like. Um, you are, you are a real estate broker in Redlands. You've been in the industry for 25 years, and uh, whatever, whatever you want to tell it, you can tell it. You got to give it that that premises if you want it to give you better feedback. Well, I've, right. been trying, I've been trying to mess around with it. I mean, you've heard what I knew of Mr. Levine, and like I only knew it as Chat GBT. So I went to chat GBT online and I was messing around with it the other day and it typed me a bunch of stuff and I'm like, this is so cool. And it, I saved it in there, but then I haven't been able to get back there since. And it's like all these different, so I was like confused. Do I go to an app? Do I have to go online? Is, is there an app? I Googled what's the best. There's just so many different things. So just online web-based, there are a ton of apps. And there's a lot of different APIs that are integrated into ChatGPT, so you can get like an app, and it's ChatGPT based, oh. but not they're not all open AI software. So usually you just go online to ChatGPT.com. Yeah. So what I do is I actually have on my phone I I have the uh, ChatGPT app. It's chat.openai.com, and so what I did is if you press this little up button. You can do and scroll down a little bit. You can do add to home screen, oh. and anytime you add something to home screen, it, it's like an app, right? Mm -hmm. It's all it's not technically an app, but pretty much you can home screen and make it seem like an app. So if, if there's anything that uh, software that you use consistently that are web based, you just add it to your home screen. You click on it, and it'll take you right there, just like it. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So Chat GPT have Bard online. It's it's all there. No, they're both good. They're both good. Yeah. Um, Chat GPT is better for like creative writing. Bard is better for like statistics, analytics, uh, research, stuff like that. They have a, they they're pulling from from different databases, different timelines. Google's more up to date, but Google's newer. They're they're less developed, so they're still really. OpenAI is leading this space right now. Yeah. So you can add 
anything like that and it'll it'll be able to do it for you. Cool, great question. All right, any, anyone else? No? All right, sweet. So this is Bard versus ChatGBT. Um, I just did the same command and these are the d two different outputs that it created. So you can see this is like a scene step by step. This one gives you kind of more of a baseline. You can have you can have them both do the same thing either way, um, but ultimately they're different, as you can see. Can you guys read that? No, some of you. All right, I'll to stop so that I can I can give you guys an answer. Okay, so. This is ChatGPT, the educational script. Setting, the real estate agent is standing in front of a whiteboard with a diagram of the house on it. Real estate agent, hello Temecula. Today I want to talk to you about the importance of home inspections. You know that over 80% of home buyers request an inspection before closing the deal. That's because an inspection can uncover hidden issues that could cost you thousands of dollars in repairs later on. For example, did you know that termites cause over five billion in property damages each year? Or that leaky roof can lead to mold, which can cause serious health problems. These are just some of the things that an inspector can identify and help you address before it's too late. So if you're thinking of buying or selling a home, make sure you're a reputable inspector to give you peace of mind and protect your investment. That's a pretty great video, right? Mm -hmm. People want to know that information. That's not just like common knowledge. And it has statistics in there. That's incredible. All right, this one is Bard. Scene one, real estate agent is standing in front of a group of people. Agent, welcome to my seminar on Temecula Real Estate. I'm going to be talking about the current market conditions to be, to buy in, and how to get the best deals on your home. Scene two, the agent is now talking about the current market conditions. Agent, the Temecula Real Estate market is currently very strong. Home prices are rising and there's low inventory for homes. This means that buyers are in a good position to negotiate a good price on their home. Scene three, the agent is now talking about the best neighborhoods to buy in. Agent, the best neighborhoods to buy in Temecula are those that are close to schools, and restaurants. These are these typically more desirable, which means the home prices are higher. Scene four, the agent's now talking about how to get the best deal on your home. There are a few things that you can do to get the best deal on your home. First, be prepared to negotiate. Second, don't, don't walk away from a deal if you're not happy with the price. Third, get pre-approved for a mortgage before you start shopping. This shows that you're serious about buying. All right. That's pretty great, right? Mm -hmm. You can go to different screens. And and video tip for you guys. I got a lot of video tips for you guys, actually. <laughs> I forgot about that one. Um, first one, who here has kids? Children. Kids. Children. 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 Kids, yeah. <laughs> who here has, yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. Ha has anyone in here seen Coco Melon? Yeah? yeah? All right. Yeah, all right, cool. So Coco Melon is the most like bizarre show of all time. But they're really, really good. They're so smart because they hit all the receptors in our brain. They got like all these flashing, like moving pieces. They got these colors, it's super very, very, very colorful. They got noises like ping pong, blah, 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 blah. and it's just like constant and you're like watching it and you're just like, oh. <laughs> and it, it's literally mind boggling, right? So. The truth is, like, my daughter watched it for, like, a month, and I was like, yeah, no, we're not watching this. <laughs> if I can't handle it, and this is doing this to me, I can only imagine what it's doing to your little brain. The truth is, we have to stimulate people's minds, right? The attention span has shrunk, right? Yours, mine, all of us, literally, all of ours. Science has, has shown it. Uh, they've done a lot of, uh, from a psychology perspective, they've done a lot of studies on this. Our attention spans are shrinking, and it's because of the technology. It's because of our phones. It's because of the screens. But what that means is you want to be able to continue to engage with your buyers. So who here has seen those videos on social media, and it's like popping up all of the captions, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And then it has like these things just like popping up, right? If it says house, house will pop up. If it says dog, a dog will pop up. And all these things are just all these pop-ups, right? And then you'll hear the pings in the back, like boom, 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 right? <laughs> That's, that's what you got to do. That's what we want. That's how our brains are. That's how we function. That's what we need. That's what we're looking for. That's the interaction that consumers are desiring. There's a reason people are making those types of videos, right? Because it works. So it's all about doing the research, knowing what's trending, what's working. It's all psychology, right? 
just like sales is all psychology. We, we started off with that, that conversation. Same thing, creating video, it's all psychology. You have to understand what the consumer wants, what they're looking for, right? Once you understand what they want, what they're looking for, what their needs are, well, now you can create specific content catered to them, right? So being able to uh, throw in those pop-ups, there's an app, it's called CapCut. It's, yeah, uh, they have a free version, they have a paid version. So if you guys want to edit your own videos, you don't have a video editor, that one's really easy. It has just about every tool that you need. And uh, you can add those little pop-ups. You can, it's, it's a really good app. So CapCut, C-A-P-C-U-T. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm not getting paid. I'm not an affiliate, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's, a really, really it's a really good app. Yeah. You can speed it up. You can slow it down. You can add music. You can do voiceover. Mm -hmm. You can take away sounds. You can yep. do all Cap, that. CapCut, C-A-P-C-U-T, CapCut. And it's an app. Through the, through the app store. Yeah, so CapCut will allow you guys to create those videos. That's what you guys need to be doing, though. If you're going to be creating video content, you need to be doing that type of stuff. Captions, there's a reason. Like, a lot of people, eh, they're in the pooper, right? And they're just on their phones. You know, all of you do it, too. Go on, don't lie. Go on. <laughs> so a lot of people, sometimes they're late at night. They're in their beds. And uh, their wives are sleeping. Their husband's sleeping. And, and they just want to read the captions, right? So able to have the captions on your video is really important. It does help, and it, it also creates more engagement. All right. Any questions with any of that? No? So, yeah. so BART is free, right? Uh, BART, is, you, BART is free. You so you go to, I think it's BART.google.com. Um, did you guys all get the AI, OpenAI? Oh, it's OpenAI.com. Um, yeah, you can go there too and sign up. Yep, exactly. Or just OpenAI. Or OpenAI. Yeah, OpenAI is the the parent company. OpenAI has multiple softwares. Another one of the softwares that OpenAI has it's called Dolly, and you could actually create video from text. So um, we haven't even we haven't even gotten into that yet. But there's a lot of different softwares where you can just create photos and videos. I mean photos. You can do photos right now. You can't do video on Dolly. Um, you can do photos from text. So you can type in like uh, ape walking up the Empire State Building, right? And it'll generate an image of an ape walking up the Empire State Building. The future that we're moving into, like Firefly is Adobe, uh, an Adobe product. They just came out with a software. It's called Firefly. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to upload your video and then in that video, through text, you can say, like, uh, add a uh, firefighter helmet on me or uh, throw a river behind me or put a mountain next to me, right? And through text, you can do video editing, which is crazy. Yeah, my video editor is scared for their jobs. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> their, their, uh, their jobs are changing, though over the next six to 12 months, what they do today is gonna be way different. The, what they currently do is they take the video, they put it in the software, they go in, they do all the edits manually. Well, now all this AI software is gonna do the editing for them. They're just gonna tell it what to do. It's pretty crazy. It's cool though, it's good. But also, could be bad. No, so, Yes, yes, you do, absolutely. You don't want it like us, oh, you weren't here at the beginning. Uh, no, it's okay, it's, it's totally okay. So I, my disclaimer at the beginning was, don't just copy and paste this stuff. You can't, just, you can't just use it and take it and use it. And you want to, number one, put it, make it yours. Make it you, make it your voice, your personality, like who you are, don't just copy and paste this stuff. Secondly, you want to use a tool, it's called Grammarly. Um, they, it's a plagiarism checker. And then thirdly, you want to put it through another software. So we use Jasper, and Jasper is, we'll take like a chat GPT, we'll put it into Jasper. Jasper will reword it, rephrase it, make it original. So it's mm -hmm. essentially one on one, it's just not copy and pasted from, uh, from the internet, right? It's not plagiarized. 
And then from Jasper, we'll put it into our plagiarism checker to make sure that it's not plagiarized. And our copywriters will they'll add in, make some changes and adjustments, make it for us, right? So this is not to replace you. This is to enhance you, right? This is to help you, not replace you. So we still need you. You still matter, right? You matter. You are relevant. Right? Kyle, yes. Think we need to mark that label and there's a wait there is a wait list. list. Yes, you have to get on the wait list. And How additional dis wait list Um, I think we got access in like two, three weeks. But we jumped on right when it came out. I don't know. I don't know now, but I think it only took in like two to three weeks. And the you other can't. That's a good question. I'm not sure. But there's other uh, softwares that you can put it through. Um, we're going to have all of that on the AI Professional website. So we'll have all the different softwares and uh, different tools that you can utilize. Some of them will be free. Some of them will be paid. Um, Jasper, I, I'm not sure what the pricing is on that. So. All right. Any other so questions? We yeah. Do we only have a limit? amount of time today that I can share with you guys, but we are going to be having a mastery course so you guys can learn more, get more training, more hands-on, and uh, ultimately get more strategic. And I want to go over some more stuff with you guys, so yeah. Yeah, no, go ahead. It does all the tech for you. coding. So like, we used to need coders to, to develop and build websites like back in the day. Add certain like plugins and things to websites and stuff like that. Yeah, don't need it. It's irrelevant because AI software can do it now. So it's um, it's almost getting autonomous. I think it'll be interesting to see. Like the way I see it is the future of all this stuff. Everyone's heard of the metaverse and NFTs and crypto. They're all familiar with that space. Imagine once this is fully autonomous. And it can just start creating its on its own. Yeah, no, that's scary. That, yeah, that's wild. That's what we're dealing with here. That's what's happening. That's the direction that we're going. We got to be informed, though, you guys. We have to be educated on this stuff. We can't be dumb. We can't be ignorant. This is really important. This is shaping our future. It's shaping our kids, our kids' kids, the next generations. Like, this is really important stuff. So um, I also want to, to, to drop a few words of encouragement uh, shared with you guys a little bit about at the beginning like what my goals are what I'm doing with my family like I love technology I love this stuff I love marketing I love helping businesses grow I love helping people achieve their goals that's what I'm talking about but the truth is somewhere along the line we got a little too deep into this technology space and it started to overly consume us right and it's consumed it's, it's broken into our homes it's broken into our families it's broken into our dinner dinner table time with our families and um, we now have right <laughs> you guys laugh but it's true it's sad yeah. we should be crying <laughs> that's where we're at right I don't know if, if anyone here has grandchildren uh, or young kids like that's sad it breaks my heart I was just at dinner the other night with my wife and my daughter and our rule is no screen time I'd, like we're at dinner we're family time. I said no, no phones. You don't bring iPads. That, I think that's just ridiculous. And trust me, my daughter's crazy. She's full of energy. She's going to run around, jump around. We deal with it. All right. All right? I'm not just going to, you know, I'm not going to dope her up with uh, this, all these dopamine hits from the, from the iPad because that's what's happening. All right. So we're sitting there. And I look over and there's this beautiful family and it was so heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Both kids just sitting there with the iPads. One of the kids had it just sitting right there, and she was just yeah. the mom and the dad are just sitting there. They're you know having their comfort. They're not on theirs. And then the kid next to him, literally like this. And the whole time, I was like, watch. I was like, you know, doing some some market research, seeing like how <laughs> <laughs> like how this is like really gonna play out. The whole time we were at dinner for an hour, and the whole time the kid was like. Kid was like this, and the other kid was like this, and I was just like, "Wow, that's our that's our world. That's what we're dealing with that's right now. That's our future." 
but it doesn't have to be. We can change that. We can shape that. So hang out with your kids, hang out with your grandkids, spend some time together, some quality time. It's really important. This technology is cool. It's great. It's going to be able to create efficiencies. It's going to help us achieve our goals. It's going to be able to essentially give us more time to spend more time with our families. Okay. Not more time to work. So that's what we need to be doing. There's a lot of different uh, software out there there's one called mid journey uh, that one's pretty incredible for creating images in addition to dolly and uh, I'll be giving you guys a ton more if you guys go to the professional AI uh, website the professional AI.com you guys will keep you up to date I have all different platforms so yeah you're on your social or what make sure to follow me <laughs> <laughs> Like it, comment it, and share it. Just throw it on your throw it on your story. It doesn't matter. Just go go engage with each other, right? Because at the end of the day, you're helping each other grow. The more engagement, uh, the better you guys do. The more people see it, right? So we're a community. We need to be a community, whether it's social or in person. We need to have that that community model. On O N S T O T T. Yeah, not where I was going. Yeah, no, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Any other questions? Uh, no? That's it? All right, thank you guys. Yeah.